In this world, wondrous creatures, dragons, and wizards all seek to live in balance. Spellcasters from across the lands venture to join magical guilds, mastering all forms of sorcery. Divinish Magia, Grimshade, the Protector's Guild, and more all seek to offer a home to those in need. These guilds compete again in the Grand Magic Games to become the paramount wizarding establishment. After an evil Grand Master sought to take over the city of Atlantide, heroes of the four guilds joined together to defeat him, and cast all evil wizards from the realm, banishing the darkness for now. Welcome to Fairy Tale Origin. This is where Divinus Magia is. Uh, I've heard that they had to redo everything since yeah, well, it's, it's well, since been, anyone. It's been a while since I've been here for sure. It's been quite a while. A lot must have changed. But like your yeah. your friend is gonna be okay with us like like just randomly popping up, right? Like we don't have to like send a letter or anything, right? We can just like show up. I don't actually know. Um, don't I've only know. been here one time. Uh, and like I said before that this guy has actually been helping me get over my fear of fire um, Okay, so I think that means we can trust him, right? Um, Hopefully Yeah uh, Oh I was yeah. fixed to say, I don't know where his health, but Nah, it must be the one with the burn roof But I mean, we can't just like, we can't just like knock, you know Like we didn't even bring like gifts or anything like what am I gonna give him? I can give him some carrots. I mean, I have some of Pluto's carrots, but I mean, is that like enough of a housewarming gift to like, you know, barge in this guy's house and be like, hey, can you help us with this? I like, mean, if we're big ass. Barging. I okay, I guess that's. I, mean, I think you're right, but I mean, what if this doesn't go the right way? I mean, okay, I mean, I guess I guess I'll just knock. It's probably probably a good idea, right? All right, here, mm -hmm. I'll knock. Hello. Hi. <laughs> okay, we're gonna. I, I guess I'll just knock on the door and see if he answers. If he's home. Oh. Oh. Okay. Hi. 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 Uh, Iris told me Hi, Iris. we could come here. Okay, you know Iris. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Here's some carrots. Wait. A little housewarming gift. Couple carrots. This guy, Iris. Uh, this is my housemate, um, Brick. Yeah, nice uh, to meet you. Take some carrots. Take, take some more world. carrots. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you we too. I kind of need some help. We need a lot of help. I feel like we should fill you in, but probably not on the streets. I think we should probably go inside for this one. I don't know. Come I don't want in. people to overhear. I like what you've done in the place. Lots, lots of water bucket. Bio. Ooh, mind if I sit here and munch on some grapes as we talk? Always good to be safe. Uh, I'll close the back door as well. Okay, I'm gonna help myself to some food. What happened and to your roof since the last time I was here? 
Yeah, it's just chest free things. Ah, uh, 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 it does matter. It does matter. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna fill you in on quite a lot of information here. Okay, I don't know much about you. Iris says we can trust you, and I trust Iris, so I guess that means I should trust you too. So essentially, me and Iris here, you know, we've been roommates for a while now, and we went on a quest together to save a magical reindeer named Pluto from these evil people called the Ember Guard, right? They're basically like fire soldier warrior knights, if you will, something along those lines. I don't know if you've heard of them or not, but anyway, so we saved Pluto, completed the quest, you know, as we do, we're quest completers. We've only done one quest, but we completed it with 100% accuracy. Anyway, that's, that's besides the point, but I just wanted to brag about, you know, our 100% success rate. Now, this is where that 100% success rate kind of changes just a little bit. So I decided to build Pluto a little shelter outside of our home, you know, give him his own space. Had a lot of carrots and hay and an electric guitar. It was, it was a pretty nice space, but yep. unfortunately this, this like king of the Ember Guard, like King Demetrius or something came he like stalked me and like stole pluto and now me and iris are like trying to get him back because like part of the quest was like protecting pluto from the amber guard and we sort of failed that so uh, what was I've heard you can help. said again uh king demetrius i had name? a run in with him before i joined the protectors it was it was a horrible experience he literally took over my home destroyed everyone that has uh, this magic uh, yeah. now he's followed he, he's done a lot of bad things oh you heard of him yeah just a, just a little bit uh, uh, it, it probably makes a little sense that fire mages would have known of him but so basically we're trying to find like the i guess the castle or like the kingdom or you know where the ember guard sort of hangs out if you will because like i'm assuming that's where they put pluto and we have to get pluto back before they do something nefarious with him like we don't know it's possible you know and we just we got to get pluto back like that's part of the quest okay um i mean there was a few years back where i saw that fire mage but like he's you probably think you can help us probably i mean come outside for a second okay go outside it is you both do magic right yeah i dabble <laughs> just a little bit okay show me well okay so my spells are a little limited but I'm training a lot, okay? So for starters, I have some really cool boots, right? These here, let me walk on water. And basically they turn Very things cool. to ice. Pretty cool, if you will, okay? Pretty valuable, pretty useful, pretty cool. Good magic to have, you know, in case I need to like traverse long waters or anything like that, you know? And then, well, I have like one melee attack. It's like a little ice shard, see, I mean, that looks pretty menacing if you ask me. I mean, look at that. It explodes on impact. Okay. Very minor explosion. It's, a, it's been... a pretty decent explosion if you ask me. I mean, that's like, that's like a little rocket, you know? I've been Nothing teaching... compared to what he can do. So. I've been teaching Brick some new magic. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm learning. I'm practicing. You know, probably not as much as I should, but I've been a little preoccupied, you know, the past couple days have been quite crazy, but I mean, I can train a little if I have to, but I mean, it's kind of where you come in. Like if you help us, the three of us, you know, I think we should be pretty well equipped together. Maybe. How about you, Iris? You uh, well, magic? you've already seen one of my, my favorite moves that I, I do. It's my mm -hmm. defensive one. Yep. Sorry. Yeah, that's fine. You, you've seen my defensive one. Um, uh, I've got the same magic as 
the the same spell that he does, but I got advanced ones, I guess. Okay. I, I got where you can shoot. Like I would say my explosion, multiple. my explosion's bigger though. I mean, look at that. That's a pretty big explosion. I have the biggest explosion got... of ice shards out of all the ice mages. <laughs> I've also got this. I mean, this tape. I can make it hell on okay. people. Well, that, that might be a little bit of a big explosion, but mine's still bigger. Uh, I can do this, make the blizzard. It's like super cold, almost zero degrees below Celsius. Okay, that's good. Though he is fire mage. I yeah, but I figured maybe I could somewhat cool him down. Maybe make make him chill maybe, out a bit. You may be able to make him cold, but yeah, to uh, that's that's kind of why we came to you because fire and ice kind of doesn't work against each other too well, especially for the mm. ice side. Yeah. yeah. I mean, fire mace can make explosions together just because of the heat difference. And besides Brian, uh, you're the only other fire mage that I know of that can maybe help us. Uh, I can help, but especially you, you need to get a lot more powerful. Okay, as much as that hurt, I think I'm seeing your point a little bit. Iris, once we leave here, we're gonna need to start training. I gotta learn some new magic. Yeah. So once uh, we learn the magic, you'll be ready to help us? I could. But I'm not sure against him, though. <laughs> He's a bit powerful. I mean, yeah. yeah At but least have you... you can help us get some type of advantage. Yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, Three of us will be better than just the two of us, and we have to get Pluto back. Like, I have no idea what they're planning to do with Pluto, but it's just too risky. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to be too much of help with uh, still being scared of fire. Um, oh. I'll help. Okay, so I guess me and Iris will go train. and we'll train. And then in a couple days, we'll come back here and we'll be ready. How about this three days sharp? Three days sharp? Iris, can we train for the next three days sharp? Mm-hmm. Okay, I guess, I guess that's the plan then. Yep. All right, we'll see you in three days. In three days. Get training myself. Huh. Thank you very much.